so this is a freshly milled uh, catcam milled titanium bar it's a screw retained titanium bar this is the underside of the bar so this is the pterygoids these are the two nasomaxillary buttress implant placed in the canine region these are the two implants placed in the anterior maxilla next to the um, incisive canal the incisive canal is quite big that is why the implants are placed a little far away and if you observe there is a no implants placed between canine and pterygoid the reason is there is no bone actually this kind of cases they need pterygoid but however <coughs> we are avoiding pterygoid by following certain philosophy and protocol where we are engaging the important three buttresses on either side one is the pterygoid buttress nasomaxillary buttress anterior buttress using multi unit implants single piece multi unit implants not the cement retained implants and connecting the implants with a titanium bar so the titanium bar behaves exactly similar to the bone it transfers the occlusal forces very much effectively so these implants integrate very well without any uh, disturbance so that is how we avoid zygomatic implants even when a zygoma is indicated we could able to avoid successfully and predictably if we are going for a cement retained processes single piece implant for a say for example a hybrid bridge or metal acrylic bridge then uh, removing no while removing it may create lot of disturbance vibration there is one problem and if you go for a welding so doing welding for this kind of long interim plant distance there will be a lot of flexibility in the welding wire and there will be failures so the more predictable way is using single piece implant single piece multi unit implant and engaging the key buttresses and connecting the implants with a milled titanium bar so this philosophy we are calling as 3b tie b protocol 3b means three buttresses engaging three buttresses tie b means titanium bar 